All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office. And uh, I, I read an article the other day. It's really, really scary. My wife actually came up to me. She goes, the things that are going on right now are, are very uh, reminiscent of the McCarthyism era. Basically, you got AOC over there making a list of people who supported or uh, you know voted for Donald Trump. You've got other individuals who are making a list of those individuals who donated money to Trump's campaign. A cancel culture, McCarthyism, and they're putting a label on these individuals as extremists or domestic terrorists. Where does it end? You've got oh I don't know, YouTube, Google, uh, Twitter. A bunch of these other internet, Facebook, with the community guidelines. And what's a community guideline? Is that if you don't adhere to what our guidelines are, then, well, we're going to boot you off of this thing. And, hey, they can do whatever they want. It's a free country, uh, which is why a lot of the, the uh, congressmen and senators are after these organizations. And they should be because it's very terrifying that individuals, organizations, are being labeled anti agenda, so to say. So yeah, I read an article the other day. It was very scary. If you're not subscribed to the Epic Times, I'm going to tell you something. It's, a, it's, a, it's well worth it. Uh, I think I paid a dollar a month or whatever it was. But uh, this guy right here, uh, the it, it, okay, Lieutenant Commander Stephen Rogers, Trump 2020 Campaign Advisory Board member. He says to the Epic Times, this is it, uh, former U.S. Navy Lieutenant Commander Stephen Rogers said on Thursday that an order by the Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, and not only this, but I've had a lot of people who are veterans and are in the military send me emails saying, you got to listen to this shit. This is absolutely terrifying. Lloyd Austin, for the military to stand down to address extremism is unprecedented, unnecessary, and a dangerous road that leads to communist China. Well, yeah. You've got all these, what it feels like, almost state-run organizations, Facebook, YouTube, if the community guidelines. If you don't adhere to that, whether you're out. Now, they're trying to figure out who the loyalists are in the military. And that's terrifying. All in the guise that uh, there are extremists out there. Uh, <laughs> this is dangerous to me, he goes on to say. It looks like a political litmus test. And it's a road that you would only find in communist China or former Soviet Union. Austin ordered a DOD wide stand down to address extremism in its ranks on Wednesday. Rogers said that the United States military has been a role model in addressing discrimination, extremism, radicalism, which has made the U.S. military the greatest on earth. So here's kind of an interesting thing. We've gone from looking at potential threats from the outside to now assigning to those individuals who we think could potentially be an extreme threat to the state or the nation or those individuals who want to express a certain viewpoint. Now, this goes back to the HR 127. Now, listen to me. Just I'm not being a, what do you call it, conspiracist theory, but here's the whole deal. They want to start running background checks. They want to start running psychological checks. They want to know what you have, when you have it, where you have it, who has it, where it's being stored, how it's being stored. Guys, this, this whole thing, it's kind of scary if you put it together and tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong that all of a sudden you've got extremists on the left wanting to know who, what, when, where, and how, and you've got other individuals on the same level assigning who those individuals are who are extremists. I don't know. Do I qualify as an extremist? It's an incredible thing out. Uh, goes on to say that it expressed concern about whether conservatives would be singled out. Is a conservative an extremist? AOC's over there going, we need to make a list of those people who donated. You got Mike Lindell being chopped off by Vimeo uh, for putting a video out. You know, what, there, there's no such thing as free speech anymore. Anyone who questions the authority or anyone who questions this election is deemed an extremist. I believe it's the defense secretary under the Biden administration. Are they now going to purge conservatives from the military? Our military members who have conservative views and values, are they the ones that are going to be targeted? Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby noted on Wednesday, John Kirby rings a bell, on Wednesday that some of the extremists who stormed the U.S. Capitol on January 6th were active duty service members and others were military veterans. Well, first of all, 
Have they determined who these individuals are who are storming the Capitol? Or are they just lumping the whole group of the millions of people who showed up that day as extremists? Austin said during the meeting with the military leaders that while number of extremists may be small, no matter what it is, not an insignificant problem, and it has to be addressed. Rogers noted that the communist China has infiltrated the U.S. colleges, schools, and corporations in the political system. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your big threat. But they're not worried about that. They want to make sure that the people serving under the thumb of the new president, they're loyalists, and they don't have those extreme conservative views. <laughs> now my concern is that they are gripping an agenda that is leading them into the ranks of our U.S. military. Now, that's not to say that our military members are being influenced by Chinese Communist Party, but the politicians who oversee our military are being influenced. Rogers said that the censorship on the internet and purging of the people of conservative beliefs across the country is extremely disturbing, and i got to totally agree with him. This shit is scary, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is, it's so scary that it's getting me away from doing gun videos. I am going to do some gun videos. It's going to be pretty cool. I've got a, uh, a new firing pin for a 6.5 Creedmoor. Rogers said, with the upcoming vetting, our litmus test in the military is going to have a tremendous negative impact on the morale of our men and women in the military. They are concerned about being reported, about losing their career, or even being prosecuted. Prosecuted for violating the agenda and the community guidelines. You gotta think about that. What is our new community guideline? Don't question the government. Don't question anything about this vaccine. I'm, I'm waiting for, I asked my wife earlier, I said, if I see somebody walking up the street limping and got pus and shit falling out of their mouth and their nose, can I shoot them? And she looked at me after she broke her leg. She goes, well, well I have a limp. And I go, okay, point taken. Uh, down the country, down the road, he said it would lead the United States to becoming a socialist country. We are well on our way, ladies and gentlemen. And to be perfectly honest with you, this is the whole deal. I think they're trying to take our firearms away with us. They want to create a registry of individuals who have firearms. So when the time comes, they can. And then they're going to implement a set of community guidelines that is going to destroy our way of life and our values. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. The military purges itself from conservatives. Well, as far as I know, most of the guys who are actually fighting are conservative. Anyway. Y'all be good. I'm Code Boy 32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. We always end them like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, and uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Always remember that part. 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. I'm KB32. I am out of here. Y'all be good.